Hey, what's up guys? Talent back with a, a new video. Uh, we are gonna jump in and take a look here at uh, Intel's new driver that came out today with XESS2, which includes their new low latency and also their um, frame generation. I think it also includes XESS2, but I'm not sure if that, like they've improved the image quality to XESS super sampling, but it does include, um, like I said, that ultra low latency, it's, and it's similar to NVIDIA's uh, Reflex. It has the on and on plus boost options in the new Intel graphics software. And then also they have, um, like I said, they have frame generation. And if you have a Lunar Lake laptop, which is what this is, um, it's just a 14 inch, like 2.2 pound Ultrabook. It's ridiculous. Uh, it's the wife's laptop. I got it at the Lunar Lake laptop. And so I wanted to test this out because it's the only GPU, I, GPU that I have from Intel right now that includes those XMX um, uh, accelerators that allow you to do uh, to use the frame generation in the, in the ultra low latency on all that stuff. Uh, I do have an ARC B580 on order from Newegg. I, I ordered the uh, B580 LE, the limited edition. Uh, that is being shipped, should ship today, and I should have it sometime early next week. Um, I just opted for the free um, shipment. I, I don't need it fast. It's, it's just honestly a card to tinker with, so I didn't feel like overpaying. So we're uh, testing out the only game right now. So it is the only game that has frame generation um, included. They are uh, they, ha they have a list of games that are going to include it. And I, I, I just found this to be so ridiculously remarkable, the performance you can get out of this with this ridiculous Ultrabook and uh, Lunar Lake graphics. It's it's nuts how far Intel's uh, graphics department is coming uh, in such a short period of time. All right, so we are using the detailed uh, preset of medium, which in does include some ray tracing. Um, it, it does say that the chat, all of this stuff looks like it's turned off. So I don't know if it's actually on, if ray tracing is actually on. Should we go to high just to turn on ray tracing? I don't know if it's actually on. It does say it's on quality, um, but it doesn't actually tell you like if any of this stuff is actually on. Should we just turn it all on and leave it on medium? You know what? I was testing on medium, so we'll do that after. So I'm gonna show you guys medium and then it doesn't, it doesn't do a very good job explaining that, which I find um, it does say that ray tracing is on, but it doesn't actually tell you. Um, yeah, because you can only go to those two presets, actually medium or high. Um, and like I said, I've been testing medium, and which I think is fair at uh, 1080p. Now, it's a 4K display. I'm running it non-native 1080p, so it's not going to look as crisp. Um, and then, of course, on top of that, we are using... Uh, Intel's uh, super sampling and in performance mode. And then here's the new thing, the Intel frame generation, Intel the XESS uh, FG, which is their, um, their frame generation. You can see that there. Um, you do have to have the new, uh, you have to have an Intel GPU that supports the XMX, which is gonna be Lunar Lake or any of their desktop cards. So you can't have a, uh, a, uh, a laptop chip that doesn't have those instructions or those accelerators or a desktop. Uh, none of the desktop chips supported either. Um, even if they have the new, you know, core, like if you have an Arrow Lake, for example, it doesn't have the new uh, Battle Mage core. It doesn't have XMX either. So uh, you won't be able to do this on those. You will have to have either a dedicated uh, Arc desktop uh, GPU one or the new Battle Mage. So you can have the uh, Alchemist or Battle Mage uh, to support this. So we're going to go ahead and uh, run this now. I've shown you guys the settings here. So that's what we're using. We're just going to go to benchmark mode and I'm going to run the benchmark. Um, this is just the default, whatever benchmark uh, they have. I do have a frame counter up here. Uh, the GPU is utilization. It maxes out at 1950. That's the max core clock for the GPU. So you can see it's going to its max. It'll run about 28 to 30 Watts under load. And then uh, these are all the core temps, core, util core utilization, frame uh, counter and frame time graph. Um, and this is running, again, 1080p, medium, XESS performance mode with the new frame generation. And just look at how insanely smooth this is for an Ultrabook. Like, it's just, 
like incredible to me how how far Intel is coming uh, with their graphics. You can see we're running on average 120 frames per second, and it just looks really really good, like really smooth, smooth frame time, no spikes, no stuttering. I mean, I, I realize it's F124, so it's it's not super demanding. I guess it is once you start to turn on some of the other stuff. You go up in resolution. But if you're just looking for, you know, to be able to do some light gaming on the side with this new XESS frame generation, um, and it being a an accelerated frame generation, you know, an accelerated, uh, an AI upscaled version, so they're actually using uh, accelerators on the GPU. XESS image quality, for one, is really, really good. It's it's very similar to DLSS. And now they've added in this, uh, this new uh, feature suite with the low latency and and uh frame generation and i just think it's i think it's pretty crazy like i'm i'm shocked that this is like the kind of experience we're getting out of you know just 28 watts 27 watts on that with the image quality you know like it it looks very very good uh in terms of image quality for such a small light device this, i i know uh, msi is coming out with the new claw um, that's going to have this core in it. So it's got the 258V, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it's the exact same chip that's in this laptop. They're just putting it in a handheld. And I think it's going to fare really well. I mean, you can see the temperatures are really good. Uh, this laptop doesn't have a massive heat sink or cooler. It, in fact, I think the Claw is going to have a better cooler. It has dual fan. I think this has single fan. Um, so I, I'm really going to be excited to see how that performs in a handheld because this... This chip does a really good job. 130 frames per second. Obviously, it's using you know frame generation. It's generating those frames, but it it looks great. It really does. It looks really really good. I think we averaged probably at least 120 frames there on that run around the uh, around the map there. Let's see how it uh, what it turns out to be here. So one thing about this game is that uh, even on my desktop, it kind of takes a while just kind of moving through the menus. All right, so we averaged 123 frames. Minimum was 112, so very good tight minimums and a maximum of 132 frames. So, I mean, that that's very, very close overall. That's what you want to see, really tight max and mins to have uh, a very smooth experience. And, yeah, uh, that's pretty awesome, guys. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the uh, comments down below. I'm going to get out of here. I just thought this was really cool. Quick short test of the uh, the Lunar Lake laptop uh, with Intel's new frame generation. Um, I'm looking forward to playing this and using this in more games. I will be back uh, probably next week with some uh, Battle Mage dedicated uh, desktop card, and we'll do some tests on that. All right, peace out.